and as people of River State joined the rest of the world to celebrate Christmas. Christian faithful gathered for the Christmas church service as part of activities marking the birth of Jesus Christ. At the Redeemed Prophetic Mission in Port Harcourt, some of them said, Christmas represents salvation for mankind as it is the celebration of the birth of Christ. Speaking with correspondents, Cleric at the Redeemed Prophetic Mission said the essence of Christmas is a celebration of life, love and a time to understand and reflect on the lessons from Jesus. The right way to celebrate, number one, is to celebrate by giving your life to Christ. So it's a celebration of love. Uh, the way to celebrate is to celebrate by sharing, reaching out to one another, whatever thing you have, share with your friends, share with those that do not have. Then you celebrate also by appreciating God sincerely from your heart. He advised residents to desist from discrimination and tribalism as Christianity is based on love and forgiveness of our God. Some residents also speak on the essence of celebration of Christmas. Okay, I was thinking about the gift of life, for keeping my family. As a country, we have to be happy that despite all the challenges in security, we have not gone into war. God is faithful to this country. We should keep hope alive. Nigerians, we ought to keep hope alive. The situation is affecting Dick, Tom, and Harry. There is nobody is not affected. Even those in the city is also affecting them. So we have to keep hope alive. Because unto him that jointed to all the living, there is hope. Christmas should be every day, right? So if you give today, you should give tomorrow. You should continue to give throughout the year. And then um, remember that after Christmas, there's something else that follows, right? So um, Christmas will come and go. I mean, the season will come and go. And then January will start. February will start. So um, live your normal lives. Don't do anything outside um, of the ordinary. But then um, let um, Christmas change you and make you do you know extraordinary things all year round it's healing it's needed we need a, a national revival it's time that we both christian body we all have to go back to god and say god heal our nation it's first chronicle what is second chronicle chapter seven verse what is it if those who are called by my name shall humble themselves and seek my face he said and come from their evil ways he said i will hear from heaven I will heal the land. It's time for us to come to God and ask God to heal the land. The government are helpless. Our politicians, you can see the presidency are helpless. The bandits are multiplying day by day. The terrorist group, different crime here and there. It's time we talk back to God and say, God, help us. To eat alone, enjoy alone is not reasonable. Let them empower the less privileged. You voted them in there because Without those less privileged voice, they will not be there. Let them embalm the spirit of good leadership. Leadership that will call for growth and development for us present and for our children, children that are yet to come. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.